Hey guys, so what's going on? This is George here from the Lads HD, and this is part 7 of Pokemon 3D. And we are in Violet City, we just defeated the Bellsprout Tower. I have got a toothache, one of my teeth is uh, feels like it's about to fall out of my face, <laughs> out of my mouth. Um, which is a little bit worrying considering the fact that I'm 20 years old, almost 21. Um, so yeah. I don't know what the fuck that's all about. Anyway, we're going to go to the mart here. We're going to go and buy some... Uh, some uh, potions. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay. <clears throat> we're going to go and head into the gym. And we got to remember that the, the gym is all grass-type Pokemon. And that's why we've got a Hoot Hoot. Let's, let's go. There's the first trainer. I thought I was going to fall off the side and then die. <laughs> Let me see if you are good enough to face Faulkner. Bird Keeper. Hey, Bird Keeper. What is this? Is it flying type? Right. Let's put this motherfucker to sleep. What am I doing? Enter, sorry. Motherfucker. Yeah. No. I'm just completely out of touch with this game because I haven't uh, played it in so long. Have a tackle. And the reason I say that I thought that it was grass type Pokemon is because when I was talking to uh when I was talking to the guy at the start he was like I swear he said that let me just let me just go back and check what he said. Hey, I'm no trainer but I can give you some advice. Believe me, if you believe a championship can come true. You believe, then listen. The grass type is weak against the flying type. Keep this in mind. See, grass type. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it is flying. It's flying. Oh, no. Okay. Right, let's think about who we want to level up. It's, they, it's flying type, not um, grass type. My bad. I can't believe I didn't remember that from... Uh, uh, from... from uh, what am I talking about? <laughs> from... Uh, from silver back in the day. Let's put Ghastly at the front of the table. Let's just see like if he can if he can uh, get hit by anything. Right. Training up a little bit. If not we can always just kill him with Totodile or whatever. And then uh, go to the to we're gonna go to the uh, Pokemon Center after this battle. Just completely forgot that I'm not doing any of the voices, so I'm going to have to start doing that. Come on, Ghastly. Hypnosis. No effect, haha. Uh -huh. Proud. Let's try that again. <laughs> Stupid bird. Pidgey does look adorable, though. There we go. Lick. It had no effect. Oh, no. Okay, we'll switch now. We'll get a. We'll get a. Let's get a polywag out there. We haven't had polywag uh, battle for quite some time. He woke up. <laughs> oh, that was a nasty tackle. Measure hypnosis again. Let's do. Let's do bubble. Oh, I thought I was going to knock him out. Critical hit, nice one. Is this, is he gone for? Oh, he's alive. Another bubble. Finish Pidgey off and then we'll uh, switch. Uh, if he's got another Pokemon. Oh, Ghastly learned Spite, nice. I think Spite is a move that you can only use if, uh, if they're in Hypnosis. 
So let's bring uh, Ghastly back out because Ghastly can't get hit by Pidgey. Jimmy's gonna love this episode. He absolutely, he absolutely adores uh, Ghastly. Gnosis. Right now we'll try try use uh, Spite because I'm not sure if Spite works if they're awake. Oh, what is this? <laughs> this is just like if if <laughs> if I had no other Pokemon, like I don't, I don't we'd be here forever. Let's get Toto though, I don't know. Toto took a bit of a, another critical hit. Rage. Oh no. Oh, I have to use a potion on Toto here. Yeah. That did hardly anything. That is not, that is appalling. What we really need is a uh, super potion, really. Build up his rage, chuck in another rage. Build up his rage twice, that should be like, knock him out straight away, but no. That is unfortunate. Right, let's use water gun now, because we could use rage in it, but... Rage doesn't really seem to be doing the job, there we go. Yeah, Poliwag and Ghastly leveled up, great. Three. Ah! Okay. Now let's rush off to the Pokemon Center. Get everyone healed and then we will go up against the gym leader. Who are we going to be using? Let's think about this. Who should we use? Should we just put Totodile like, right at the front or Hoot Hoot? Hoot Hoot would be the best option. But I want to try and rank up Totodile and Poliwag. So, um, and Ghastly hasn't got an up. Ghastly hasn't got a chance. I mean, you could Ghastly could put them to sleep and then back out. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, Totodile's about to level up soon. That's good. All right. So that's what we do. Just, just, just for pure entertainment. Um, I'll use Ghastly. And then uh, put him to sleep and then throwing Totodile. Because Ghastly's move that seemed not to work on flying type. Okay. I'm Faulkner, the Violet Pokemon Gym leader. <laughs> people say that. People say you can f clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Please, leader Faulkner. Sounds like a fu fucker. <laughs> Ghastly. Ghastly, you got this in the bag. Come on, throw in a, throw in a hypnosis. Don't fuck up. There we go. All right now, get towed out. Eh? My plan, my master plan is going well so far. Switch him up. Let's fry him in. Let's hopefully that the Pokemon noise doesn't wake Pidgey up. Yep, it did. Oh well. It's worth a try, mud slap, that's an annoying uh, move. Water gun, don't miss. Yes, no! <laughs> it missed because of mud slap, man. Oh, don't use it again, that's just, that's not fair, is it, really? This is just not going well, is it? He is just spamming that move. What can you do? Like, what can you actually do at this point? You just have to keep on spamming the water gun, just hoping that one of them are going to hit. Oh, look. and then he gets a critical hit. Like, what are the chances of that happening? Why is Ghastly? I didn't choose Ghastly. He says fast asleep, and then I change to another Pokemon, which is going to be Hoot Hoot. Who's my my beastiest Pokemon? He's still fast asleep. All right. 
What does Foresight even do? Let's do a tackle. Oh, that's quite um, powerful. He's still fast asleep. Get in there. See, this is karma for him taking out my Totodile straight away. He's going to wake up. Yep. Oh. oh, it's no effect. Yes. Yes, it's got no effect. Great. Oh, look at him being... Look at him doing that. Using a super potion. Now, that is just greasy. That's a greasy move. Good job that Mud Slap has no effect on me, though. He's probably going to use Gust. Here it comes. Yeah. Expected. But who Hoo's just too much of a tank, so... We got this in the bag. I should have used Hoot Hoot from the start. Ghastly's leveled up. Level 7. Hoot Hoot. Oh, he's got a Pidgeotto. I didn't know he had that. That's cool, man. Alright, let's put him to sleep. Hypnosis, come on. Added a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> he's just such a beast. I'm not going to use pet because it's flying versus flying. Oh no, this could be bad. He's still fast asleep. That's doing a bit here. Let's try a pet. Does pet do anything? Does it do more than tackle? No. He's still asleep. Oh, he woke up. What's he going to use? Gust, as expe expected. Alright. Alright, we're going to have to be a little bit dirty here and just chuck in a... Uh, uh, potion. When does 20, though, which is a beer. Oh, look at... For God's sake, are you kidding me? He's such a dickhead, man. Such a dickhead. Oh, that's not fair, is it? Oh, well... It misses anyway. But. Oh, no. Why did that foul for? Tell me that. Riddle me that. Nice try. There we go. Alright. Hmm. I wonder how many more super potions he's got in his fucking backpack. He wants to use on me. Dickhead. You're a dickhead. Look at you with that ridiculous blue haircut. That makes no sense. This is just a this is just a battle of the giants here, isn't it? Of course he would have a turn first. Was, fuck it. Oh my god. Oh come on. We like just throw polywag in. Polywag. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Are you actually No, this is no way. No fucking way. Use pound. Come on. That's the problem now. That's gonna miss now, isn't it? Here it comes. Oh, it didn't even do anything. It didn't even do anything. This is a joke that he's used super potion three times in a row. I can't believe it. I can't believe this. Oh. This it like I can't even remember this happening in the in the fucking Oh why did I do that? I didn't even mean to. I was just spamming the button. It has no effect, of course it doesn't. I wanted to use hypnosis. This is just a joke. I can't believe how many times he's used fucking super potion. I, I can't I literally can't I can't believe it. Like <sighs> If, if I lose this battle, I'm not going to be pleased. Just going to have to use two fucking potions. It's absolutely... I can't believe this. I can't believe this. This is just like... Uh, this is a monstrosity. It's actually mental. Like I can't. I'm just. I'm. I still haven't gotten over it. I haven't gotten over it. How oh, he's he's got this lucky that he's literally got three super potions in a row, and now I'm back on the fucking orange zone. Like I'm doomed. I'm, there's nothing I can do. I'm doomed. I can't win. Nope. I can't win. It's because. It, oh, it's, it's, 
so ridiculous this game. I can't believe how lucky he's been. It's just, it's just unparalleled how fucking like how lucky he's got. Like, look at how lucky I was there. Like that was that was good for me that time. I'm gonna use. Do I have a potion left? Oh, I do one. That's not gonna help me out, though, is it? Dickhead, dickhead. This is a tense battle. Come on, don't use quick attack. Oh, yes, come on. This is my chance. Can't hit him with a critical. Oh, are you kidding me? That's so close. Don't use a super. Don't you fucking dare. Oh no. Oh Jesus, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please don't say he's got another Pidgey. Please. Oh my God. I mean, look, nine. 10, she went up 3 levels, yes, come on, come on, come on, get in there, I'm so happy, alright, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon, alright, take this, it's the official Pokemon League Zephyr badge, yeah, I can't believe that was a close battle, that's probably the closest ever battle I've ever had, like, in my whole Pokemon career, I'm not even joking, that was mental, <sighs> okay, here, take this too, received, that's Mud Slap. Great news. Okay, we all know about TMs. We're not new to the Pokemon world. Mudslap does damage. Okay, right to the Pokemon Center we go. Let's not fall down into the um, Black Abyss here. Okay, I'll take a Pokemon for two seconds. Thank you for waiting. We've restored the Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. Clefairy doing a top job over there. Oh no, it's not Clefairy. Jimmy told me it's not Clefairy, it's some other Pokemon. I can't remember who he said it was. Evolved form or something. I can't remember. But anyway guys, we're going to talk to this fine little geeky fella, uh, Professor Elm, in the next episode of Pokemon 3D. But thanks for watching guys, I hope you did enjoy it. That gym battle was fucking intense. I'll be George here from the Lads HD and peace.